This is Colin with Maker Farm. This is part three of the tarantula build. To start, grab these acrylic pieces. We're going to get bag B-3 and our tool bag, which is B-6-4. First thing we need to do is peel the paper backing off of both sides of both acrylic pieces. Next, empty bag B-3, and you can either get a small knife or out of your tool bag, you can get the little screwdriver, and we're going to take the clear wrapping off of the gear. Now go ahead and grab one of your motors. You're going to orient the motor so the connector for the wires is at the back, just as shown here in the video. Then you can grab some of the small M3 bolts. There will be only three of them and you will only put them in certain locations, so just watch the video. These first three are those short M3 bolts. And for the last hole, you will uh, use a longer bolt later on. But go ahead, grab an Allen wrench right now, and tighten those up. Now that those are tight, we're going to grab the long M3 bolt. And you're going to have a little idler wheel that we're going to put on and a nylon standoff. And this will get installed in that last hole for the motor. You're not going to be able to tighten it down all the way, so don't try. Just turn it until it stops. Next thing we're going to do is install the gear. There's a flat spot on your motor. I usually turn that to the back. And then when you put your gear on, make sure you align that grub screw with that gear. There are two grub screws in the gear. Uh, we're just going to align one of them with the flat spot on the motor. You can go ahead and tighten that down. You're also going to want to position the gear so that it is aligned with the idler there also. So when the belt rides, there are grooves are at the same location. Then go ahead and tighten down both grub screws. Next we're going to turn the whole assembly over so we can see the back side of the motor and install the three M4 bolts there. Then hold on to them, flip it over, and install the T-nuts. Only do a couple turns. Just like in the first video, we just want to make sure that they don't fall off and then they will be tightened later on when we install it onto the extrusion. Now we want to grab the other acrylic piece. We want to make sure that we install these bolts the correct orientation. So you can see how we have those there. The nuts are both going to be on the inside, so we're going to install the bolts on this side of that acrylic piece hold them, and then install those T-nuts. When you're finished and you hold these two pieces up to each other, the T-nuts are both going to be on the inside. Okay, now we can grab our frame. 
we're going to have the 2040 extrusion that's vertical on the right side, the 2020 extrusion that's vertical on the left side, and that way the back of the machine is where we're going to install our Y motor brackets. You're going to want to turn the T-nuts so that they'll go into the extrusion. I like to install it so the back edge of that extrusion meets the bend in the acrylic. I'll show you that in just a minute here and I'll lift it up so you can see it. And then you're going to tighten them down. This is another good reason to have a flat build surface that is perfectly level so that these brackets are actually flat and not turned at all. Here you can see where I align that. Right with that bend at the back of the extrusion. Then we're going to go ahead and do that for the other side, but before we install that piece, we have this last nylon spacer that's going to go over the bolt head of the long M3 bolt that we installed into the motor. Now we can install the acrylic piece and, of course, align it the exact same as we did the one with the motor. And then go ahead and tighten those down. Now we are done installing the Y motor brackets on the tarantula. We can take our Y bed and slide it onto that extrusion. If it doesn't move properly, we can get out our wrench and we will turn the eccentric spacers, which will make that wheel go closer or farther away from the extrusion. So if it's too loose, you can turn it one way to tighten it, or if it's too tight, you can turn it the other direction to loosen it. Make sure that it moves freely and that there's not a lot of friction.